All right, everybody. It's Sunday. Um, comment below if you think I'm doing too many of these posts and I should run them together into big long ones or so on and so forth. But I've come back today and uh, we could call this part four of what I got myself into. So, as yesterday, the dash is all out, still out. Made a couple spacers so I can actually get those instruments to sit up there across the top. Cleaned some of this out, secured some wires, got my keypad switch pulled out of the uh, vinyl piece that went across here, kind of temporary in here so that way all the switches will still work. And I've decided that it's time to put a new steering wheel in here. So I'm going to put the latest and greatest version that the country coach had in 2010 intrigues in here. It's going to be the non-power, but it'll have the telescope and all the buttons in it. So that's kind of the image of that that will end up in there. Now here's the intermediate steering shaft that actually connects the steering column to the uh, power steering box. Here's a steering wheel that was uh, from Station 6, it looks like, back in the day that I'm going to be using for all my R&D. And then right here is the column. And then this is the column and the slash that covers the column and it covers the steering shaft where it goes through right here. So now I've taken the time to unhook that steering shaft unhook it downstairs got it unhooked now i've done a few measurements through some notes on the windshield of how far the wheel is off the wall how far it is when it's all the way up and where it is when it tilts where the pivot point is here i've made a note of because i'm sure that this is all going to end up cut off and then redone now there's a mark right here can you can see it better without the light i think but that shows you kind of where the dash rests. I'm going to actually mark that out. And then, because that's going to be a reference point. And then I still got my dash pieces here. I haven't dropped off yet. If I need to change the way that is to meet up with that, I will do so. But that's kind of the intro of today. I'm going to do some more cleaning up. Since this project is going to be a little longer than I kind of anticipated at first only because I've added more projects into it I'm going to uh, put a little more oh sorry about that put a little more protection down on the countertops clean a few more things up I think I'm going to do some base lighting back in the back bedroom and I'm really thinking about breaking out and putting the Intellitech lighting system in here with the multiplex so that will kind of change the game plan it'll uh we'll have to actually make a network wiring harness to go in here but i really think the intellitech lighting is where it's at i like the ideas of being able to turn lights on and off in multiple places and having it all off button for the end of the evening that's kind of the starter of this one today we'll uh, see how much we get done We'll see if we make a little outro of what all we got done today, or maybe we'll do one tomorrow and combine it all together. Here we go. Let's uh, get some stuff done and figure out what else we're going to put in this closer. What have I done? All right. I think we're getting into this. No more steering wheel. No more steering column. Steering column and steering shaft, as we, they call it on paper, the intermediate steering shaft. So that is the stock intermediate steering shaft and actually the splines did line up.
Well, after that, it's going to take some welding to either go back or it's going to take some welding to move forward. But I thought you guys would like a little bit of that. So, yes, I just cut the plate off that my steering column bolted to. But I feel like a little customs unlimited action, and uh, we're going to be custom. And right now we're showing that there's no limits. So, all right, everybody, we'll get you some more footage here. I've got some steel plates that are going to weld onto there. Then the new column that's there behind the stool, the R&D column, we'll get that bolted up next. say eight hours later and we have a steering wheel again and we have a column so on the pedestal here that actually held the steering wheel previously I've come in and welded a plate in to be able to bolt a new column to on that pedestal and now I've got the new column mounted now this is a test column and then this steering wheel is actually one from building 10 station 6 production that they used to go, send the coaches down the line before we actually put the steering wheels on. So that would be in its tilted back position and then you pull up on the lever and you can tilt it forward. Push down on the lever and then it telescopes in and out. So <clears throat> it's got all the new modern luxuries that a 2010 Intrigue would have had now So I'm gonna get that smart wheel module the brain that actually runs all the buttons and get it uh, wired in Get a clock spring in there Go dig that other column out and get it uh, all prepped up make sure it's all good and ready So the dash is sitting here. It doesn't look like I'm gonna actually do anything around the back of it I'm think I'm fine there I'm pretty happy with the way the sides look. So I wanted to get that in there before I sent that off to the body shop in case I needed to get a, some sh material added and so on and so forth. But I'm totally happy with the way that's going to work out. So really looking forward to getting that new wheel. Um, I went and picked it up today. And I'll start uh, getting it uh, built up. I got to put the switches in it because it was just the raw wheel. And we'll get it moving forward come along secured some of these hoses up here kind of got those out of the way and secured some wires that were in there from all the previous stereo installs and kind of cleaned that stuff up and got that dialed in ordered that vinyl looks like it should be here around uh, let's say the 14th of february so in about two weeks so we'll get this stuff here painted of course we're going to get these pieces painted this vent here painted and then that painted and then restretch that. I'm actually gonna rebuild this piece of dash, bring it out a little bit further, match that radius, and then drop it back in. So right here in this edge, I can actually run some LED lights, probably color changing there. And then up here in the front, since I've got the new full length style MCD slash auto motion blinds in here, on the board that those blinds are mounted to right here, I've actually put some LEDs in that actually sh shine upward. So when you look outside at night, it kind of makes all this just a light glow. Looks kind of trick, but you know, the point of that is just all the different places you can put the LED lights. Nowadays, so many options, but. All right, everyone. Thanks for uh, seeing what I was doing over the weekend and rolled over into a little bit of Monday, but. We're cruising along, so as we go, I do got to get my intermediate steering shaft, this piece here, cut down about four to six inches. So I'm going to send that to one of the local driveline shops here this week, 
get that sucker cut down, but all the splines did match. So that was very key in the whole scenario. But all right, everybody. Thanks again. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Looking for more subs. My good friend Andrew Steele's up to 70,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. Looking forward to him hitting 100,000. But uh, if you're not subscribed, please take this time to subscribe. I want to try to catch up, but I got a long ways to go, and he's a great dude. So thanks, everyone. Hope you're all having a great day. Till next time. Bye-bye.